Surface winds, please. Okay. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Thank you. Alright. So, westerly at 8. Alright. Six primes? Looking around. Master switch is on. Master coming on. <coughs> Beacon verify is on. It's on. Ignition. So Wanna crank brake, it up? Uh, both feet on the brakes and okay. then. Okay. Ready? Yep. You got the throttle? Yep. Okay, there we go. A bit weak. Okay, you got the throttle? Yep. I got the mixture. Ready? Yep. is a fuel elevation and it's indicating about, uh, about 100? No, uh, 10? Yeah. 
Yeah, just about 10, 10, 15, so yeah, on the borderline. Let's see. I would set it to fill elevation now. Yeah, it's way off. 80, let's do fill elevation. Uh, oh. Yep. And to minus 200. Minus oh. 250 on the vertical speed. Yeah. Alright, good enough. Alright. Westerly 300. Good on the left. Alright, let's, let's start moving. And. Test your brakes. Ground, you yep. My brakes are good. Your right. brakes. My brakes. Little uh, dippy, frozen. And uh, we're just uh, five three one pop, is it? Trying to warm up right. a little bit. We're just five three one pop. Brakes are good. A little better. Full audio executive. Fox got X-ray echo via runway three two. Farmingdale four departure. Why don't you um? Wavy in the section. Whiskey Alpha Victor Echo Yankee. Necessary. Okay. Let's see. 132, Farmingdale 4, Wavy, JJ 174, Snow Hill, Lab 3000, 400, 10, 25, 7, 26, 56. on the approach end and you made it left. He actually right, made yeah, it so straight ahead three, across three, Gulf Alpha. So it's good. All right, no problem. As long as uh, we went right back where he wanted, it's good. Okay. We have 531 Papa, taxi to runway 32. And Bravo 4, runway 1, right turn Gulf 3, right turn Alpha. Okay, uh, Bravo 4, uh, 119 to Gulf 3, Alpha. Feeling the heat the heat? Yeah. Five, two, one, you, you want the heat? No, I'm just wondering if you're feeling the heat. Oh yeah, a little bit. Five, I think slightly. Five, three, I let the engine warm up. Uh, Thirty-five to one. Warm up. So go five. Three two via go. Yes, sir. Straight ahead, make a round. Go four. Three two for the punch. Three two for the punch. Too fast for your comfort level, you just get on the brakes again. 
Uh, and you slow it down to a brisk walk. This way you're, you know, constantly checking the brakes, making sure, okay, you know, they're good. And at the same time, the engine is still warming up because it looks like uh, oil temperature is still, you know, below that green. But, you know, by the time we get to the butcher in, it's going to get up to, get up to, um, you know, at least the bottom of the green. So, I see. Yep. When we do the run up and all that. Technically, you don't want to do the run up when it's below the green. You want to wait for it to warm up. That's why I like about a thousand to twelve hundred initially. Uh, summertime. We're completely different ball game. You can keep it at idle all the way to the run up. No problem. The nose wants to come up. Like put ten knots, something like that. Yeah, you're going a little bit too fast now. I think that's you want to get on the brakes and slow down a little bit. Yeah. Exactly, there you go. Jimmy, double Charlie, public ground, taxi to runway 3-2 via Alpha. Cross runway 1, right down with his own request. Oh, oh, one day to the charity, uh, runway, uh, taxi to Alpha, runway 1, one day to the charity. There you go, double Charlie, it's taxi to runway 3-2 via Alpha, cross runway 1. 3-2 via Alpha, cross 1, one three eight Alpha Charlie. Going to the run up area on the right. I think one of the good tips about, uh, you know, becoming a CFI is always talking. Yeah, you don't want to get too talkative to the point where the student doesn't hear the controller. So the vision of attention between listening to the air traffic control and stop your, you know, um, your teaching when it gets quiet, you can re, you know, reestablish. This way, it's it's moved much much smoother, you know. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, you you can hear the air traffic control. Okay. Hear what's going on. All right. Let's switch car beat on. Prime is uh, locked. The power is in unlocked. Okay. Thank you. All right. Before we take off. Parking brake set. Is there a parking brake? Yep. Parking brake right here. It is set. Oh, cool. Uh, or not. I'm okay. gonna hold the brakes. Uh, I'm, gonna be your brakes too. I'm gonna be your parking brake. Okay, thank you. This is my door. Windows locked. How about yours? Black. This is Phenom. Phenom 300. What is this? 531 Papa. Looks like a Learjet. That Learjet? Yeah. yeah. That's 531 Papa. 531 Papa. 531 Papa. Nice little jet. Yeah. And checking the rudders. Okay. Instruments four is checked. Yeah, three four zero. Five zero. Uh, there we go. Okay, minus two hundred. And wash all the mixture trim set for takeoff. Trim, draw 17. Oil's coming into the green very lowly, slowly. Slowly. 17 mixture. Oop, what's your fix? I need those check suction. Want to check the max? I'll check the max. Go on to the left. Uh, not so much RPM drop. Go back to both. Clear jet. Back to the right. Clear 55. Beautiful. Nice. That's All a right, good thing to head down to Fort Lauderdale uh, Executive. Oh, they're going to Fort Lauderdale? Yeah, 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 I yeah. heard them. They uh, picked up the clearance over there, yeah. Very nice. The suction gauge. Where's the suction gauge? Suction. Should be right there on the right. That's the amps. And suction gauge, I do not see it. It is actually right here and it's on top. Ah, there we go. Little tiny gauge. Thank you. Instruments, uh, meter check, car PDA checked. Bottle idle check. Uh, 
Let's go fly. 500. Okay, bottom of the green. Beautiful. You're ready for takeoff. All right. Radio is bottle. Radio speak lights on. Throttle friction adjust. Brake set. Okay. All right. We are ready for takeoff. Yes, sir. Flaps up. All right. Checklist. What's that rapidly moving little Cherokee? That sign, all right. But the, uh, you said transponder and altitude. I looked at the aim yesterday. It didn't say anything about altitude, but it said on. About, uh, you know, when you're going into control the airports. Huh. No? Take a look. Yeah, I'll take a look. I think it does say... Mozi, yeah, Mozi. I think it does say Mozi, but, uh, but we'll, we'll yeah, most probably, yeah, it said Mozi. We'll read. Uh, read to read it again, yeah. We'll read. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it says Mozi, and I'll tell you why it says Mozi. If you don't have your Mozi on, confirm clear to land for 40 Charlie Tango. I did not clear to land. And there's an airplane on the approach on the ILS for reduced visibility, and you're holding short on the critical area of the ILS. How would the controller know? Say four four. When able to start an early left cross. Right. That you're on the ground. If it doesn't have mode C. Maybe it's a helicopter hovering. It sees your altitude. It knows. Oh, this is an aircraft on the ground. It's you know reporting 82 feet elevation, which is pressure altitude. So you know, I, I'll double check. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll almost. Yeah, you're right. It, it, it's good to go. Five. Have to read it again. Yep. We'll read it up. We'll verify. November zero Charlie Tango runway three two clear to land. Clear to land three two zero Charlie Tango. Delta Kilo, runway 32, quick for takeoff, caution, wake, turbulence, departed, leave, uh, I think this is scheduled for 10, right? Uh, yeah. I got 8.37, so again, uh, time management. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. You don't want to be late. Yeah. All right. Air Republic Tower, this is Cessna 757 Alpha Delta, ready for departure. November 757 Alpha Delta, Republic Alpha, hold short, runway 32. Hold short, runway 32, 757 Alpha Delta. Hold short. Four, you're following beach to traffic on a two and a half mile final. I'm oh, looking for that traffic on a safe forward. Clear to three one pop a contact departure of the flight. So the noise bin procedure for runway 32 is at 800 feet. You turn right 010 on a heading of 010 until you cross the uh Actually, we're going to be going to go right down with departure. Okay. So, we're going to be crossing uh, 700 feet. Turn right down when... Why 700? I mean, that's that's the uh, procedure. Do you want to turn on base? Uh, you're playing flying handbook. Say before, yeah. Turn your base behind the beach. Uh, I thought it's 400 AGL, but I'm not sure. We'll check. Right, we'll good, no. I think 400 AGL, you can make a right turn towards your... Uh, if they approve a right turn out. Uh -huh. You can request an immediate right turn out. They may give you that too. Oh. But right. uh, technically, if they approve a right turn at 400 AGL, you can make a right. Okay. Now, the standard departure is a standard departure. When you're requesting the standard departure, or you don't request anything different, you're expected to go runway 32. Um, runway heading up to 800 feet AGL, then heading 010 until the Long Island Expressway, and then turn up on course, right? Right. Delta runway 32, line up and wait traffic, left space, 2 mile final, Cherokee. Line up and wait 32, 7 alpha Delta. Line up and wait. Line up and wait. Line up and wait. Line Right, clear. Alright, that jet touched down right at the touchdown zone, so. You rotate. Beyond that, you're gonna be cold. That's a zero, Charlie Tango destination. Atlantic. Then three two. Zero Charlie Tango. Turn left on Bravo Bravo South down to Atlantic. Um, Bravo Atlantic. Uh, we got nav light. Charlie Tango. Nav lights? We don't need nav light. You want the nav light on? Uh, whatever. Uh, better visual. Eh. Daytime. Oh, okay. Level seven Alpha Delta runway three two. Clear. Off right down is approved. Right down. Right down. Clear for takeoff three two seven Alpha Delta. Stay four. four right down is approved. Alright, full power, looking at the uh, RPM, 
Airspeed is coming alive. Maintain runway center line, 50. You rotate. Public Tower, Delta Kilo, closing frequency change. Number one, Delta Kilo, have a good day. And the wind is coming in a little bit on the left, so... Republic Tower, Cherokee, you want my Delta? No, you want to pick a reference point on the horizon. You know. 3521, my golf, we're about to hold short. Keep it a little bit. 30, you want my golf, uh, hold it short. November 7, Alpha Delta, we're able to an early right crossing for the downwind traffic. It's about four miles northeast of the field coming in for the right downwind. 1,600 assessment. Okay, turn it right downwind, uh, 7 Alpha Delta. Traffic, same altitude, point nine out. Okay, that's, okay, that's uh, no, that's a bird. There's a traffic pattern, maybe. What a beautiful morning! Unbelievable. Tower oh, Skyhawk November one zero eight nine Delta at North Fort Stack with information box truck. Uh, requesting option. Number one, very letter Delta Flight like Tower, I have your request for the option. Enter right down. Oh, the airplane wants to climb. Yeah, get that speed up there, VY. Altitude is life. That's right, get up there fast. See, right now, if you have an engine failure, you're gold. Yeah, power off 180. Uh, much safer to get a right turn out downwind, and then if you have an engine failure and you're on the downwind, you're good. You do a power off approach. Uh, if you're going straight out... November 89 Delta the traffic is not much. Uh, other than roads and, you know, some... Thank you. What happens if we lose comp right now? What do we do? We uh, go I'm straight just, to the numbers uh, and look for a light gun signal. Uh, I'm just going to pull up my portable radio and keep flying. How about if you don't have a portable? You don't have a portable? Uh, it's, it's a little tricky. You got to, you know, you got to... Uh, you know, get light signals. Uh, probably get down to like 200 feet or something and then call them up on the telephone and say November 757 Alpha Delta coming coming inbound. We have no uh, no radio. We're waiting for light gun signals. We're going to be circling above the airport 1500 feet AGL, whatever, and then waiting for the signal. I don't know if you don't have a phone, no uh, radio. Land in Bayport and get the airplane fixed. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. I'm controlled. Go to the uncontrolled airport and just get the airplane fixed. I'll call your buddy and, hey, you got a cell phone for me? Or, you know, on the, on the payphone. Put some quarters on the payphone. And knock into the neighbor's house and say, hey, buddy, can I use your phone? I'm old-fashioned. I don't have a, I don't have a cell phone. I don't have a payphone. I don't have nothing. Yeah, That's maybe they'll let you make a phone call. So, but, uh, it's always good to have a portable radio. Always. Yeah. Yeah. I carry, I carry, uh, always carry a portable. Sometimes I carry two portable radios. Oh, yep. Just in case one fails. But you can't off. land right away. You have to wait, see for a light signal before you can land. Uh, absolutely, you you can you cannot land without landing clearance. Absolutely, uh, uh, and, and uh, there's no radio for you to declare an emergency. If uh, if you declare an emergency, you can deviate from any rule as a pilot in command. However, how can you declare an emergency? Maybe squawk 7700. I mean, if you if you squawk 70, I, I wouldn't do it. Or a radio failure. But if you squawk 7700, you're declaring an emergency, and you're the final authority of the operation of the flight. You can go ahead and um, you know do that, and then they'll see an aircraft in distress, and they'll probably clear you. You know, no problem. They'll clear all the other traffic. Okay. So it's redundant because you have a transponder and a radio. Okay, radio fails, you can still send signals, signals, signals from your... Three miles. Just cross the over here on the TCAS, squawking 1200. See over here? Yeah. If you squawk 7700, you can go ahead and click here, and you will see your squawk. 
Oh, you can so verify what the squawk is going out of your transponder. So if you're squawking 7700 now, you're going to have a lot of people watching. I see. Oh, yeah. Number two, runway 32, clear touch and kill, make left traffic. Alright, so okay. good, good just power trim. 3,150, look at the horizon, look at the traffic. Now, what's, the, what's the reason why 3,000 instead of like 33 or 35 or 37, somewhere like in between, even like 3,000, 4,000, right in between? That one was right. That's a, that's you know that's a good idea because there's uh, airplanes. Let's go to 2,800. Excellent. Let's go 3,000. Have to be on a VFR. 27, 28, 26, 24, 25. Anywhere in that area. Okay. 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 Okay.
uh, see my heading. And this is how we do it. You know, you saw how I did it. Whatever, it's a, it's a first one. I just want to get the uh, fuel. And add a little bit more right rudder. And this is slow flight. You're looking, at free looking outside. Yeah. Maintaining the heading, 50 knots. Now, if we want to turn to, let's say, 060, all you do is you know, 10 degrees of bank. And shallow banks. Maintaining coordination. Excellent. Coordination. Mention that at least three times on this maneuver. It's the right rudder, because slow airspeed. That's right. 7 11 to the As we're slowing power. down, we have high and power setting, high pitch attitude, slow airspeed, we need more right rudder. Yeah, the airspeed is increasing because we lost altitude. So we want to maintain turn left heading with the pitch. And if, we're, if we need more power, we can always be flexible. And add that power. Sending 2,000 feet established on the DOR to two left approach. To fight the field. Now, you're doing about 50, 55. What are you doing now? 50. 50 or Let's so. Let's go for here 50. What's the uh, stall speed in the dirty configuration? Flaps full. 35. 35 knots? Yeah. Alright, so. Is that minimum controllable airspeed? Uh, I see what you're saying. Is 50 minimum controllable airspeed? It's uh, usually you go for uh, the uh, the uh, rotation speed. No. What do you want to hear the stall horn? Ah, stall horn it, baby. Bottom of the white arc. Let's slow that bird down. There you go. Keep it going. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. Thing of three, three, zero. This is why you're stall horning. I want that stall horn going all the way through. Just all the way through. And we're we're, lo we're losing altitude, so we got to add power. Gain our right rudder and power. Absolutely. With, with you, how do you hear me? I hear you good. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You good? Let me check your plug. Hold on, hold on. How's your bed? Better now? Can you hear me better now? Can you no, hear me? You cannot hear me. Check your headphone. Check your plug. My controls. Check you your have controls? My controls. My controls. Check your plug. Check your headphone. What is it? I, uh, one, two, three. Can you hear me? One, two, three. Traffic one, five. How do you hear me? I can hear you good, loud and clear. Can you hear me now? Come on, Deploy 38. Could be, a, could be a battery. How do you hear me? Loud and clear. Loud you hear me clear. good? Loud and clear. How do you read me? Can you hear me? You I don't hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? No, you don't hear me at all. Alright, let me terminate this maneuver. This way we can figure out the headphone. One, two, three, can you hear me now? Uh, how do you hear me? One, two, three, can you hear me now? One, yeah, two, three, yeah, can you hear uh, me now? Yeah, I can hear you. What about now, can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, I can okay. hear you. How do you hear me? Loud and clear. Okay, I great. guess the intercom, yeah, hold on. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Can you hear me good now? Yeah, yeah. But it's a bit too loud though. Loud, oh, what about now? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, better? One, two, three, one, oh, two, yeah, three. Oh, yeah, a lot better, a lot better. Okay, there okay. you go. I guess. Great, great. Okay, this is... Co-pilot, co-pilot, oh that's a PMA 4000, that's what it is, alright, one, two, three, can you hear me good now? Yeah, I can hear you good. Okay, your controls. My controls. Alright. You understand the concept of minimum controllable airspeed? Yeah, any reduction of power uh, would, would cause a stall. So Beautiful. So, want to Anything ride a stall. Anything slower, that minimum controllable airspeed will get you into a stall. And that's what we're doing when we're doing slow flight. Is we're trying to demonstrate the minimum controllable airspeed. Okay. You mentioned coordination. That's good. The one, why 
I, you know, try to brush up on that just a little bit. Okay. Want to do it again? Then go to another one. Uh, let's, let's, I'll do that then into a power off stall. Alright. All right. Slow flight into a power off flight. approach and landing stall. Okay, what it is is, uh, when you're slowing the airplane down to minimum controllable airspeed, which any reduction in power would cause, D3, one, you're uh, traffic left base to stall. Final. Why we do it is because we want the pilot to get familiar with the feeling of slow flight, that mushy flight controls. And uh, and if the tower says, you know, slow down, I you know, you, you're not... The common, uh, the common um, areas where you're in slow flight is, is on final. So we want to get uh, the pilot used to that feeling. Okay. So how we do it is I reduce the power, car repeat, then swim the right arc, the right arc, I'll add flap, one degree at a time, maintaining an east heading, and at the same time being coordinated. So full flaps, and what we're looking for is, is that stall warning horn. Uh, this is slow flight being coordinated. A little bit of power. Back to uh, absolutely to beautiful. Altitude. You have a very good aircraft Looking. control. Very good aircraft control. Beautiful. Highly recommend taking the check ride on this airplane. Yeah. Highly recommend. And if we're going to turn, let's say, to uh, the last zero six zero, and just shallow banks. You don't want to. If you do it too steep, you're going to stall the airplane. Beautiful. Because. As you bank, as the bank increases, you want to also look outside, check for traffic. You don't want to be too focused uh, inside the airplane. Traffic two miles, six hundred. But we're looking. Okay. We're Let's go right into a power off stall. Okay. Now you look what happens. Flying. Look what happens in slow flight when you decrease the power. And we're not at minimum control airspeed anymore. Keep the turn. Keep the turn. Power off stall. Simulating base to final. Base keep to turn. final. Keep the turn. And let's say base to final. No lower the nose. Keep the turn. Keep the turn. Stall the plane. Keep the turn. And I'm going to feel the air airplane. Hey! Ah, you that's your back. full stall. Full power. Level wings. Get that nose uh, up. Get that nose up. Don't hit the ground. Get that nose up. Get that nose up, don't hit the ground. And we're looking for VX. Looking for positive rate, no positive VX. Rate. Forget about the speed, looking for that pot. Just break the stall, full power, positive rate. And the rest of the flaps incrementally, because you don't want to lose that. Keep that positive rate, positive rate, positive, positive rate. rate. That's the key here. If you don't have positive rate, well, guess what? You're going to hit the ground. You need to get away from the ground, and that's what's going to get you up there. It's a positive rate of climb. Okay. Now, I notice you're very, you know, sensitive on the stall, kind of, you know, taking yeah. it easy. Don't be shy, you know. Get it up. Definitely get that pitch up. Get that pitch to initiate the stall. All you have to do is hold that nose on the horizon. Don't let it drop. If you hold it right on the horizon, you will stall. All right, pitch power. Oh, this trip. is uh, this is the radio he was talking about, I guess. Yeah. Number two, number two. Okay, cool. It was right. off, right? It was off. Yeah. Right? Okay. Okay, cool. All right. What else do you want to see? Uh, you mentioned some commercial maneuvers, or it was uh, just my assumption. Yeah. Okay. Teach me a chandel. What is a chandel? What is a chandel? Is that why do we need to do a chandel, and how do we do a chandel? Chandel is a high performance turning uh, 180 degree turn where we get the maximum altitude for uh, for the turn. Why we do it is because it improves coordination, orientation, division of attention, and it overall makes you a better pilot. So, the way how we do it, 
Is there a difference on the first 90 degree of turn and the second 90 degree oh, of turn? Oh yeah, the first 90 degree turn is going to be a constant bank changing pitch. Okay. okay. The second 90 degree turn is going to be constant pitch changing changing bank. Okay, very good. Okay. You may uh, want to get into what's changing. Okay. Not just constant, say. On the first 90 degree, we're going to hold a constant 30 degree bank angle and we're going to increase the pitch. On the second 90 degree of turn, we're going to decrease our bank angle from 30 to zero very gradually while we're going to hold the same pitch attitude. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't do it in a long time. Let's let's. Uh, That's why we're okay. here. That's why we're here. We're gonna shave that rust, yeah. get that.